Hello, I'm Karen Algizma, trying to be a tourist in my own hometown, right here at the Maritime Museum, and you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, Suchetta Singh checks out what's hot for spring fashion. Dan Khan wrestles with a sport that may be eliminated from the Olympics. And we chat to Juno-nominated singer Helen Austin. All that and more on Go Island. Thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. We're going to steer you in the right direction uh, and let you know what you should do for be a tourist in your own hometown, things you can do during your spring break, and how to spend your days, your weekends. Because we're here at the Maritime Museum where there's so much going on. There's so much going on. Christy, it, it really is one of the best uh, kept secrets in Victoria. It is such a special place, but a lot of people still have never discovered it. Tell us about the Maritime Museum, what people will experience when they come here. They'll hear stories about our maritime history in BC. So much of our history uh, is embedded in the maritime culture. People got to the island via boat. You know, we have history about the Hudson's Bay Company, about the Coast Guard, the exhibit we're standing in right now, BC Ferries. There's so much to see here. And of course, Be a Tourist in Your Own Hometown has just kicked off. And how are you guys participating in that? You get $2 admission, Tuni admission into the Maritime Museum. We're also offering uh, $25 annual memberships, wow. which is a huge, uh, a huge deal. So it's basically the price of two admissions. And you can come all year round. Um, every month we have family programming. So that's included in memberships. And we also have a lecture series we, that we offer with every new exhibit. And if be a tourist in your own hometown isn't enough, I'm going to give you another reason. Christy, tell us about the exhibit that you guys are going to open up this weekend. We actually launch a new exhibit exhibit tomorrow uh, in celebration with the uh, Victoria Symphony and, uh, and others that are celebrating the 155th anniversary of uh, Chinatown. Wow. Um, so in this new exhibit titled uh, Floating on the Margins, Chinese Life on the Canadian Pacific Passenger Liners. So it's looking at people who were either working on the CP passenger liners or they were passengers and coming over and, and ferrying in between China and, uh, and British Columbia. You'll hear stories about what people were doing on those ships. Um, you'll see pictures and we have a huge collection that's on loan from uh, the UBC library, the Chung wow. Collection. Oh, wow, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, so we've got um, some wow. really neat artifacts and, and yeah. pieces of history. That, that, they, that are on loan here. We're gonna to continue to wander around the Maritime Museum and give you a sneak peek of the new exhibit. We're also gonna tell you about all the cool spring break programming that's happening here. But first, spring has sprung. The cherry blossoms are out, the daffodils are poking up. I'm seeing snowdrops everywhere. That means spring fashion. But what if you need a little bit of help? Well, that's where a personal shopper comes into play. Suchetta Singh explains. I'm so committed to spring fashion. I'm willing to be cold. I'm willing to freeze. I don't care. I'm ready. I'm ready for open-toed shoes and bright colors. I'm just so ready. We're here at the Maritime Museum because there is so much going on, including a brand new exhibit that is just about to open. Tell us about the new exhibit. So the new exhibit is called Floating on the Margins. Um, it's about Chinese life in the Canadian Pacific passenger liners. And so we thought with it being the 155th um, anniversary of Chinatown, we really wanted to uh, celebrate um, Chinese Canadians and their impact on BC. It's a lot of fun. There's lots of different things you'll see from artifacts to uh, uh, posters and paintings and pictures um, and I, I love that there's even China over there that you can look at. Really, really cool exhibit. Um, we're going to continue to um, share some of the funk of things that are happening here at the Maritime Museum, including what's happening during spring break. But first, did you know that they've decided that they might remove wrestling from the Olympics? Well, up in Duncan, they are hosting a BC championship. Dan Khan headed up there to not only talk to them about wrestling, but how they feel about the future of this sport. Here's what I don't get. Wrestling, not a spectator sport. I love wrestling. It's one of my favorite sports in the Olympics. Keep them. Thank you for that story, Dan Khan. We're here at the Maritime Museum and the exhibit that has just opened up 
really um, is a celebration of our Chinese history here on Vancouver Island. Of course, it's the 155th, 155th right, anniversary of Chinatown opening up, the oldest Chinatown in, in Canada. Um, tell us about what's in this display, because this is really fascinating. Um, so with our exhibit, we're starting with the immigration story. Here, um, one of the more interesting items um, is a head tax certificate. So in uh, 1903, an act was brought in that um, all Chinese immigrants had to pay $500 to come into Canada, um, which made it virtually impossible for a lot of Chinese people who are already here for, say, to be reu reunited with their families and whatnot. So um, it's really, I mean, it's a sad part of history, um, but it's, you know, it's... I you realise how hard and how much they sacrifice to come to this country. Exactly. Of course, the Maritime Museum is the best place to hang out during spring break. And we're going to tell you about their spring break programs in just a moment. And this week in BC, we'll be talking about the budget and how it might influence our vote. Uh, quick break, but stay with us because lots more to come. Hello, welcome back to Go Island. No, I'm not on a ship, I wish I were, but I'm actually in a slightly more fun place. I am at the Maritime Museum. What's happening this spring break for all the kids out there? So this spring break, we've got um, events happening basically every day. Um, so one o'clock, um, yeah, Monday through to Friday, they can come on down. And uh, we've got pirate school on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So pirate school. Yeah. <laughs> How can you not want to attend pirate school? I love yeah. that. Basically, the thing with pirate school is we're teaching them to be the best of the worst. And so that's <laughs> that's our motto. And so, you know, they should have a good time with that. They yeah. are. They will have <laughs> yeah. a great time with that. That's awesome. Yeah. And we're also, we've got um, mermaid tales and mythical beasts. We're doing underwater exploration, obviously not going out to the water, but looking at what you'd yeah. see under there. And um, also um, life at sea as well. So a bit of exploration and navigation. Well, you may not know her name now, Helen Austin, but you will soon. Remember that name, Helen Austin. She's going to be the next big thing. We produce such amazing talent here on Vancouver Island. We're going to take a quick break, but please stay with us, because when we come back, this week in BC looks at the budget, how we feel about it, and how it will affect how we vote. Uh, we'll also give you more reasons to come down to the Maritime Museum. NDP has done a lot of criticizing, but they've said nothing about how they'd spend your money or if they'd balance the books. Just giving Diver Dan a hug, because it's guys like you that help create the Maritime Museum, which is such a hidden gem here in Victoria. Christy, just remind everyone why they should come down to the Maritime Museum and enjoy this special place. Well, Tourist in Your Own Hometown is on. We also have a new exhibit floating on the margins. And we've got spring break programming. Lots of fun for the kids down at the Maritime Museum. Thanks for watching.